All right, guys, taking a hike back to uh, a friend and neighbor who I showed you his system when he dropped in that 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate power queen. We're gonna hike back and see how that battery has been working for him for the past few weeks. I know he's loving it. I've talked to him a few times. Uh, he's ready for more. So today we're gonna take a look at this Power Queen 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery uh, that a friend of mine uh, replaced. And what he did is he pulled out this 100 amp hour interstate battery, lead acid. He dropped this in. He's been running it for a few weeks. I showed you guys this system and we're going to go over how this has changed uh, what he's doing back here. And just as a little review, show you that he's running this Victron Energy Smart Solar Charge Controller. This is the MPPT 150 volt, 100 amp charge controller. And besides that, he's running this Samlex Power 2200 watt, 12 volt DC pure sine wave inverter. And he's got 2,100 watts of solar uh, coming into this system. Now, I did take a look at the Victron log for the past few weeks. And as much as it has changed his life back in here running lithium iron phosphate, uh, he hasn't even put a serious workout on this battery. And I'll go around and show you uh, what has changed for him. So his place is currently under construction with lots of improvements underway. He's added a couple of nice ceiling fans with lights. Uh, we're in one room where this one's running. Multiple uh, flush mount ceiling lights. These are all LEDs, so they're not a huge power draw. An old dinosaur of a washing machine, which he used to have to fire up a 7,000 watt generator to run this, which of course was loud and used a lot of gas no more he's able just to turn that on easy and he's adding a lot of outlets in his walls now and running the lines and getting that all ready he's got a really nice breaker panel for everything and right here is another one an interesting story about uh, this is a little timer that i'll show you he used to have to uh, set his little refrigerator on a timer so it would not uh, run at certain times of the day because the lead acid battery was not able to keep up with it. And he doesn't have to use that anymore because he can run his little refrigerator, little dorm type refrigerator 24 seven. And he's not even touching that power queen battery. Uh, he's got his nice breaker box installed. And then here's his little dorm fridge and what he used to have to do uh, running this was fill up some water bottles and keep them in the freezer to where when the power would uh, be turned off at night he would move the frozen bottles down into the cooling apart cooling compartment there to keep everything cold and now he's able to run this 24 7. that's probably the biggest improvement is it being able to have some uh, refrigeration 24 7 without having to move things around like he did with that one less lead acid battery so this is a huge huge improvement you know having uh, your food cold and frozen nice and he's got his little entertainment system uh, his system did just get up to float while i was here visiting a little while ago and he's turned on all of his loads that he's using now which he would have never done prior and uh, being in float it was allowing about 200 watts uh, to come in and keep everything running uh, including that refrigerator and keep his battery at float so the power queen really living up to his expectations keeping his living space at a very nice temperature it could get a little warm back in here i'm standing under this right now absolutely comfortable yeah, so the difference 
of lithium iron phosphate uh, compared to that lead acid battery, which as all of you know that are using this chemistry, that uh, that lead acid battery over there to the left, even though it's 100 amp hours, there's really only 50 amp hours of usable power. And with this 200 amp hour lithium battery, he has 200 amp hours available. And he's also run uh, a couple of DC lines off of this right now. He's, he's got a, a 12 volt water pump hooked up for some water delivery. And like I said, a lot of this is under construction. He's revamping his place quite a bit, but he really needed the battery to be the heart of the system uh, to start powering things up. And he has not run a generator since he dropped this in. So that's the big improvement, uh, which is always the case with everybody. You can get off the generator. And like I said, I took a look at his log and he hasn't even, with everything that he's running 24-7 uh, now, I never saw anything lower, the lowest voltage I ever saw his battery in the log for the past few weeks was, oh, like 12.8. <laughs> so, uh, looking really good. And taking a quick peek at the log, there you can see today, that last one to the left, He's in float right now. And you can see that he does get a little bit of a voltage spike past the 14.2 every now and then. This is not uncommon to see basically when it's uh, switching over from uh, its bulk or absorption charge to, to float. Sometimes you get just that momentary spike. I see that on several different batteries. It's nothing to worry about. And the lowest that battery has ever been most days, it's 13 something volts and right now with all of those things that I showed you are running if I go to currently it's opened up his 2100 watt panels now pulling about 220 as you see right there and it's holding the voltage at 13.5 which is float and if we go back for the weeks that he has been running this since we introduced this system to you it's all the same gets up to float every single day Everything's staying very, very consistent, looking really, really good. And it gets a little warm here right now, and like I'm sitting right in front of that fan, there's those ceiling fans and all those lights running in the other part of his home. And that battery is completely full and won't be depleted to any real degree by morning for everything that he's doing. Of course, like most of us, he's already talking about he wants another battery. <laughs> so that's how it goes. So the difference that one battery makes uh, is incredible. And, and just for filming, this battery was sitting here. And I mean just to move that thing over there. Those things, as we all know, super, super heavy. That one 50 amp hour battery really is all you can it's a hundred amp hour, but only 50 usable, uh, weighs more than this right here. So, uh, this is a nice little system. He's doing well with it. It's changed everything. Like I said, refrigeration now 24 seven. Uh, he's not having to jockey around and chase that, uh, those cooling temperatures and move frozen water bottles around to keep his, uh, perishables from going bad. That's the difference lithium makes for everybody. Yeah, and of course he's got this as the, you know, the real brains here, right here, keeping everything under control, doing real well for him. So he's very, very happy. I run that same system as I've showed you guys before, that same battery. Love the Power Queen, love all of the lithium iron phosphate batteries that I do run. Makes the big difference. And like all of us out here, he collects his own water. I believe he said this holds 15,000 gallons of water. And this has been here for many, many years, uh, taking all of the elements. And this water looks fantastic. Of course, we're gonna get a, 
a reflection, but I can see with my naked eye all the way to the bottom. It looks great. This is a great water collection system and 15,000 gallons is really, really a nice amount to have. And I'll tell you, in all the years I've known him, I've never seen this any lower than it is right now. I mean, that's a lot of water. Definitely all of his needs. And we've got a beautiful day today, so that's why the solar's all up to snuff. All right, almost home. Always fun to check back in and see what someone's doing with their new battery. He's pretty happy with it. I remember how happy I was when I got my first one too. So yeah, looking good over there. Working just as you'd hope. All right, everybody. I'll catch you on the next one. Aloha. Uh, time to get out of the sun.